Now we have two questions that are all about sex. First, we have a couple who was kicked off a cruise line after having loud sex. So here's the story. The couple allegedly made love, which the woman admitted was quite loud, with the balcony door open. Uh -oh. Afterwards, they got into a verbal argument. The ship security showed up. Not long after, a manager informed the couple that the captain was kicking them off. The couple was left stranded in Barbados in the middle of oh, the night. No. They were on their own to find their way back home as well. The couple, however, is suing the cruise line. They're seeking reimbursement and compensation because the woman said she was traumatized. Here to help answer this uh, is attorney Tiffany Fetter. Wow, that's quite a cruise. Yes. So, <laughs> Tiffany, does the screamer have a case? Absolutely not. <laughs> when, you buy air, when you buy any kind of fare for a cruise line, you're cruising at your own risk. You're signing a contract, and they can get you off of the boat for any reason. So there is no case here. They can kick you off of that ship for whatever reason they deem necessary. But it's necessary. not their fault. I've never been on a cruise, but clearly the motion in the ocean gets <laughs> things going. <laughs> This is good sex. Well, uh, we always talk about the motion in the ocean. I didn't know it was literal. They're having all the windows, uh, the balcony open. That's a little. It's and a what lot. about all it's... of the other passengers? Don't they have a right to enjoy their cruise? Their, their right to enjoy the cruise is going to be jeopardized by this couple's loud sex with the balcony doors open. It could be oh, I can guarantee you if I was on that cruise, <laughs> I would have opened our windows and we would have been like, oh my God, you hear this? And we, hey, pour some wine, honey. Let's listen to them having sex. And you go on a cruise, you want to have a good time, but you have to keep in mind that with certain restrictions, I mean, you can't, like drink to the point where you're you're making a scene. You can't fight. You can't make too much noise. You can't run around without your clothes on. So, I mean, if if that's yeah, right. if that's what you want to do on a cruise, then expect to get kicked I off. Think, or I or think, pick the right cruise line. Yeah, I think there are some cruise, cruise lines that allow that, but but you have to read the fine print. The duty is to protect the people, and it's the same thing in regards to um, loud sex. It's going to be the same argument. People have a right to enjoy their their cruise or their flight or their hotel or any other. So what is private. loud? What is, what is loud? Like, loud well, sex that's what I was going to say. I could just see this in court. The, the, the attorneys Battling fighting. Out. Well, how loud was it? Can you right, demonstrate? No, Roll the tape. Yeah. I'm sure in this day and age there okay. probably is a tape. Well, thank you for sharing, Tiffany. This was. I mean, this is fascinating, and it changes the way I look at purchasing a ticket. I, I think we should all be aware. You don't want to end up in Barbados just because you had that great motion in the ocean.